Hey everyone, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and this is a discussion on elemental weakness. First and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, Pay Penguin who posted this um, discussion on Reddit. So just want to give my shout out to him and to all the guys who contributed to um, finalizing the data on elemental weakness. Also, guys, I'm just sharing this with you. This content is not mine. Just want to say it out loud. That's, I just I just I feel that I need to share this with everybody so that the question on elemental weakness or how to counter a specific element will be answered finally. So, guys, if you like this video, if you feel this is informative, please do put a like to this video. Also, again, please do subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot. So, moving back to elemental weakness. So, there will be... It's not going to be an element versus element type. So it's going to be the type of enemy versus elements, okay? So there are three enemy types in the game. So you have your humans, not re I don't think they're called humans. They're humanoid figures. So they don't look human, but they're humanoid figures, mechs, and titans, okay? So they have a specific reaction to a specific, um, what they call this, element. Some have uh, elemental um, resistance, some do have low, some have zero, okay? So they are, if you want to, I'm, I'm going to share with you a handy the, the infographic that the, this guy has mentioned. The gray means the enemy has zero elemental versus that element. One, one red arrow is minus 5%. And two red arrows is 10%. Okay, so just want to be clear, just to simplify this, I'll show you guys the infographic that he is mentioning. So this is the one that he is pertaining to. Above here are the elements that we are, you know, that we have. This is just a logo for snow break. So we have here um, electrical, we have frost, we have thermal, we have chaos, and we have kinetic. So we have five all in all. So it's not, again, it's not against element to element. It's against the type of enemy that you have in front of you. So this is for humanoid figures. This is for mech. And this is for titans here. So for if you encounter um, humans or humanoid figures, the best um, element to use is electric and chaos. So with one arrow, it's 5% elemental resistance. For two arrows, it's going to be 10%. So take note when you're constructing your team, make sure that you consider all of these. And also, if you want to deal more damage, definitely you have to know which element to bring. For your mechs, you definitely need to bring frost and kinetic. For titans, the best one is going to be um, thermal only one so take note of that that is why um yao five star is so effective against titans because um her element and her guns element should be uh, if, if if both of them are thermal therefore there's going to be zero elemental resistance so again um just want to give you guys um a small thoughts before we leave i will also put a link to the description of this video for this uh, Reddit post. Everything is there. You can check it out there. I just want to emphasize uh, uh, some points that you need to remember. So better pair your op with the same element as your gun. So your operative element for skills should be the same or should at least be the same with your gun element to maximize damage especially if um, and also it's really difficult to know if both your if if your gun and the op has mixed um elements it's really hard to remember which of which is going to be effective so it's better that you have one element for gun and for your operative so less resistance equals more damage so if you have less resistance again for a specific element then you will be dealing more damage and know who to build and where they can be used to maximize damage so if you are still struggling with your roster building therefore this one will guide you more on what you need for a specific stage 
specific boss, specific content, and who are the elements that you need to build in relation to your operatives that you have right now. So again, that is going to be it, guys. Um, again, I'm going to put a link to the description to this discussion post. It's very useful. Um, um, shout out again to the people who contributed to this list or building this list and discussion. Okay, guys, so that is it. So if you have any comments to Elemental Weakness, please put them down in the comment section. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.